Hi everyone, today I wanna to talk about why people stay in abusive relationships. I was in an abusive relationship a few years ago and I'm not talking about this to get sympathy or attention. I'm fine, I'm over it. I wouldn't talk about it unless I had actually healed. When I was in the relationship, something that helped me realize how bad it was, was watching other people talk about their experiences. So I want to do the same because I really wanna help people avoid going through that. But before I can talk about it, I really wanna make this video and talk about why people stay in the relationships because the most frustrating thing and I just want to say this if anyone talks to you about their partner being abusive to them you asking but why did you stay with them that's not helpful please do not say that because it just makes me feel stupid and weak and like it's my fault for staying and not the person's fault for doing it to me in the first place it's really hard to explain why you would stay with someone who is hurting you whether it's physically or emotionally or mentally or any kind of abuse but it's not not because people are weak and it's not because they love pain and they love being treated badly. All of these misconceptions make it really hard to talk about this, but I really want to raise more awareness about it. And before I can do that, I just really want to make this video. I'm not going to go into detail about my experience or what happened to me and stuff like that in this video. So if you're triggered by that, don't worry. This is not detailed about what an abusive relationship is. It's more about why a person stays. And of course, there's so many different reasons. I'm only going to cover a few. In my situation, it was my first like proper serious long-term a relationship so I didn't really know what a relationship should be because no one teaches you this stuff this is stuff that you have to figure out on your own like you have just have to learn as you go and unfortunately my learning experience wasn't very straightforward so I genuinely didn't realize just how bad it was and it's also embarrassing to tell people oh like obviously this is all from my perspective so I'm not saying you should be embarrassed about this because it's not your fault but in my situation I just felt embarrassed to tell people that oh the person who's supposed to love me is doing these things to me you don't want to tell people that I didn't fully know how bad it was, but I I was pretty sure that like other people around me who were in relationships Like they didn't have it like that. Like this was just not normal Even though I don't usually use the word normal because there's no normal but in relationship terms I think everyone will understand what normal is someone being mean to you is just not within the brackets of what normal is So I didn't want to acknowledge that oh this happened to me because I think with abusive relationships Like you hear about them like you hear about them on TV You hear people talk about how it happened to someone they know or something like that but just like with all bad things you don't think it's gonna happen to you and it actually wasn't until I was in a loving and caring relationship that I realized just how bad my previous relationship was and also of course a lot of people are manipulated and brainwashed which I was so I was like this is bad but it's just supposed to be this way the person definitely made me feel like trapped and this is what was in the cards for me and this is what I was gonna get and this is just how it was gonna be and there's definitely like a stereotype about being manipulated because people think that that it means you're weak but I had literally never been in that situation so I didn't know that that was what it was and it's really hard to recognize because suddenly you're just in there and then it's really hard to get out that's also why I want to talk about this because you just need so much input to even get to the point where you realize that you shouldn't be in that situation and you have to get out it's it's so difficult another reason people stay is that there are good things to the person too and there are good things to the relationship I think when people hear about abusive relationships and all of that they think that everything is bad everything is just horrible and this person is mean 100% of the time. That's not true. I mean, maybe for some people it is, but generally there are good things about the people as well and they do have good traits that you like. Something had to kind of lure you in in the first place, right? And you know how sometimes when something is bad and then it gets good again and then you kind of forget how bad the bad thing was and then you end up in the mindset of, I don't need to fix this because it's not bad. And you kind of think that the bad thing is not going to come back, but it does. Whenever it's good, it's good. And then you don't think about needing to fix it because it's good and you have this irrational thought that it's not going to get bad again. They're just never gonna be mean to me again. They're never gonna abuse me again. It's gonna be good from now on. And even in a non-abusive relationship that you're not happy in, there's still gonna be good things about your partner that makes it hard to leave them. Because I don't know, you might think like, I'm not gonna find anyone with the same humor. I'm not gonna find anyone that likes the same things as me. Like, Pff. And that brings us over to another reason, which is that you're attached. It might not even be that you're attached to the person themselves. For me, I was super attached to my in-laws. Well, we weren't married, but you know, their parents. They lived with their parents, so I was around their parents a lot. And I became Came super close with them. I would go on trips with just their parents if like they were at work or something and their mom and I would often go for coffee and we were so close. She called me her honorary daughter and I was just there like I'm never gonna have this again and I'm such a family person so that was such a strong point for me and I really didn't want to lose that. Unfortunately I had to because as my friends would remind me several times you're not dating their parents, 
you're dating the person and if the person is terrible and <laughs> you can't stay. So a person could be choosing to stay for some other reason or for something that they're attached to around the relationship that they just don't wanna let go of. And unfortunately, it just makes it even harder to get away. Another reason is that you simply just don't know how to break up with them. Because if you're kind of, I guess you would say submissive or you're manipulated, you're not really in charge of the relationship. So it's kind of hard to take charge and just end it when you literally have no say and your voice is not strong and you might not even have a voice in the relationship. So ending it might not even be an option or something that you think you can do because you've kind of been led to believe that what you think doesn't matter. So making that kind of big decision is just not within reach. It can also feel like a hassle to break up. Like it's gonna be a lot of drama that you just don't want. And wrongly people could think that staying is just the easier option because then they don't have to deal with even more anger and abuse and they might even be scared. I was scared. I was very paranoid for a while and my ex threatened me a lot and it was a very stressful and scary experience which was very weird to have to explain to people because I was pretending to be in a happy relationship and then suddenly it all just went up in flames. I'm not trying to say that you should stay like please get out of it. You'll be so so happy that you did. I can't even imagine what my life would be like if I still was with this person. Honestly just getting out of it and starting to feel like yourself again. If anyone is in this situation and they need someone to talk to you please contact me. I will do my best to reply to you and give you advice. I'm not saying I'm the best person to give advice on this but I have been through it and if you can't seek help anywhere else you can message me on Instagram. My Instagram is below and it will be 100% confidential. I just don't want anyone else to go through this. I also know that a lot of people stay because they want to love the abuse out of the person. Like they want to make them a better person which kind of was true for me but not really. I didn't think that I could fix them but they had a condition that made it really hard for them to deal with people and I thought that I was the person who was supposed to well not from like higher power or something but I just thought that it was kind of my purpose to give them love let them have someone who would love them unconditionally and also someone for them to love because relationships was really hard for them and I just thought that I would be this person who would make this possible for them and I was very afraid that if I couldn't love them then me breaking up with them would just deem them unlovable and I really didn't want to do that to them which I mean it's clear you can hear that this was my first serious relationship because this is not what it's supposed to be you're not supposed to come there and be that person for them you're supposed to equally make each other better people and you love each other and you do good things for each other I kind of feel like we need to learn more about relationships because so many people make mistakes and so many people are in really bad situations because they just don't know any better but I don't really know where that would fall into in school like where would you teach people about relationships and everyone is not even interested in relationships we see a lot of romantic relationships in movies and all of that but it's such bad advice every rom-com that I see now I'm like this is toxic this is stupid they shouldn't even be in a relationship like you need to fix yourself first every time I see a rom-com now I'm like this is not what young people should be learning and also there are lots of practical reasons to why someone would choose to stay with someone such as finances your living situation your work situation whether you have kids together and I'm just gonna say right here right now no reason whatsoever is good enough for you to stay with someone who's not treating you well I am such a anti stay together for the kids kind of person you're not obliged to stay with someone just because you have kids with them and in most cases it's probably better for the kids if you leave because they don't have to watch the arguing or even see one of their parents be abused or some of that stuff like no kids should see that and no grown-ups should go through that so even though it might put you in a difficult situation or a difficult like financial situation or whatever find some kind of way to make it work like move back with your parents or do whatever kind of job you can or this some way just make it work leave this person because you're worth so much more and I think everyone deserves to be in a happy relationship if that's what they want of course you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy so yeah I will be talking more about it just because I want to be that person who could say what you need to hear because I am glad that someone was there and said what I needed to hear when I was in this situation I know that this is a bit of a difficult topic to talk about and I hope that people will take it well like I'm not trying to get attention and I'm not trying to generalize and say that this is how it always is and this is how it is for everyone and I am not trying to offend anyone I really hope that I haven't please don't be mad at me for anything I've said I'm just trying my best and I am nervous about making this video but I hope it will be received well it's just something that I really want to bring awareness to and this is how you got to do it you got to talk about uncomfortable topics because the fact that it's not talked about enough is probably the reason why it happens to so many people if we just knew more about it it probably wouldn't be that easy to fall into it I thought that abusive relationships meant that you had black eyes all the time 
time and I didn't, so it was harder for me to recognize and identify what it was. And we need to talk more about it, especially for young people who, like me, didn't really know what to expect. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you took something away from it and I will be talking more about the topic in later videos. But that's it for now. I shall see you next Friday. Keep up the good vibes. Bye.